Welcome back to the show. Our next guest uh, emigrated to Canada in 2003, and she had very little in the way of skills. She didn't have any language. Uh, she could speak French. She didn't have anything behind her. She was escaping civil war. Since that time, she has managed to completely turn her life around and turn it into something that is supporting women back in her native Morocco. And I would like to welcome to the show, Benali Sihem. How are you? Hi, Julie. Thank you so much for having me in the show. Oh, my pleasure. So, uh, 10 years of civil war in Morocco. Let's just go back yeah. to that because that's kind of where it started yeah. uh, and, and, and brings you back to what you're doing now. Exactly. So um, I come from Algeria initially, but uh, I am born in the border between Morocco and Algeria and the civil war happened in in Algeria in the Algerian side it was rough it was 10 years of civil war and uh, where women was mainly targeted so I managed to escape and came here in Canada in 2003 with just a little in my pocket but so thankful for the new beginning I was now, so thankful. did you have to leave behind family and uh, and really start over in that way yeah wow. family friends behind and yeah. and you were how old at that point when I arrived here I was 23 right so yeah. it's a, that's a huge leap yeah you know in anybody's books to to completely relocate yourself yeah. yeah and so you what happened then you you got so you got work so I I joined the workforce and uh, I worked um, and I have a normal life I had the life that I was dreaming of you know since I was little girl just having a peaceful life this is what I wanted and I had this um, this peaceful life I was uh, dreaming of and uh, until the day where I've been laid off I was working for a major bank and uh, the bank decided to relocate and then I end up uh, being laid off so uh, I'm very spiritual and I thought that it was signed from the universe and it was time for me to share my passion about the argan oil which is uh, a natural beauty oil that comes from my native region. Right. So this is the thing, like you've been on Dragon's Den yeah. in 2014. Yes. Um, and you brought them to tears yes. with your story because yes. your story is is that you, as a woman, fled a, a very dangerous and uh, threatening situation, yes. and that you have you have now started this company yeah. to support the women who are at risk exactly. back in that situation. Exactly. So, uh, just walk me through that. Like you decided, okay, argan oil is where it's at. Exactly. So when I, uh, I decided to start the business, I, I did it uh, with the argan oil because I'm passionate about the benefits of the argan oil. Um, argan oil is an all natural beauty oil with a very powerful moisturizing, repairing and anti-aging benefits that you can use on skin, hair and nails. And this is all that we used back in my native region because we're poor and we don't have all, you know, the product that you find at, at the mass market to so use only what it's natural mm. and, and organic. So when I decided to start the business, I said, I'm going to carry on with my passion of the argan oil. But on the meantime, what I wanted to do, it's to give back the opportunity that Canada gave me. As I said, I came here with nothing and Canada offered me everything. I become an independent woman, I had a dignity, I had rights, and I started a business, I become an entrepreneur, and even made it on national TV. And this can happen only in my country. So for me, it was important to, to, to work with uh, the woman cooperative uh, who produced my product first for the quality, because it's handmade, mm -hmm. and the second, it's to help them to have a dignity. Those women, they don't know how to read or write, their only way of surviving is to produce and sell the argan oil. So it's not only about, you know, being beautiful and glowing from head to toe, but it's making a change in mm -hmm. a life. I think that people often think that human dignity is about um, how you carry yourself, but it's really about being able to feed yourself and, and feed those around you and to, to care for yourself, yeah. to be clean and healthy. And that's where it starts from. Exactly. So amazing. So, so basically this is, the argan this, is, fruit. this is the argan fruit in various stages yeah. right here. And it's quite, it's quite a sticky nut. It's, it feel, you can feel that there's a lot of oil in there it, when exactly. you touch it. So exactly. what's the process? These ladies, uh, they, they work 
with the raw product? If with the raw product, so this is the fruit at different stages. So this is the first there. stage. Mm -hmm. um, when the fruit is harvested and sun-dried, when you peel the first skin, you will have the nut, which is very hard. You can touch it. Right, okay. And yep. here start the hard work because it has to be cracked one by one with stone sure. tools. Sure, okay. In order to remove the kernel. So this is what's inside. Right. So this is cold pressed, filtered, and bottled. So what you see here, it's just that cold pressed and bottled. Nothing has been added or nothing has been taken away, which is the most powerful version of argan oil. Absolutely. Well, like the best uh, uh, olive oil. Exactly. Right. And so this smells a little bit like olive oil. Correct. But it really soaks into the skin. And I, and I think that uh, it's probably one of those must-have beauty products along with shea butter that everybody is talking about because yeah. it really does work and because it's all natural. Exactly. So the ladies, how does it work? They actually have jobs now. Exactly. And they are uh, they're they they're able to support their families to, so, and, and they are very very independent and they're hard worker um, and actually um, they are very tough in business because I go to visit them every year yep and uh, it's always good you know to to talk to them and see them and how you know they they improve their condition wonderful so this is going to be at the women's show we just have one minute left you can okay. tell us really uh, the women's show is fabulous by the way just in case you were wondering it's so many vendors, so much going on. I, Just quickly, what? It's amazing. So this is why I encourage, you know, the audience to come visit us at the Women's yeah. Show this weekend because it's the perfect girl out, uh, out where you can have fun and you can discover new products, new services. Um, there is a ton of free samples and, uh, and free, you know, tests. And there is even, you know, uh, a male strip show. So it's what? really, really, really going to be fun. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to see you this weekend at the Women's Show. Well, I think that's going to be pretty amazing. So that is uh, April 8th and 9th at the Shaw Center. Uh, and you can get tickets by going to the National Women's Show. And you're going to, of course, meet Benali and try some of her products and hopefully buy some. Yes. Have beautiful skin. Awesome. Listen, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank we so are going to be right back after this with the Healthy Brain and Body Show.